Uh, let me just give you a little background information on where we were and where we are now. The Principal Farmers Association was established a long time ago. It was registered in 1998. And uh, we did this and uh, we brought the group together because at this time there were lots of people in the community who were just below the poverty line. And we thought that if we could do something to help them, then we would be helping ourselves. I saw CMOS as um, something that could fill in the void um, that was created by the declining banana industry. And um, not soon after this, we found that a number of persons in the Prale, Monrepo, La Point area who were either banana farmers or farm workers um, end up in a situation where they couldn't put bread on their table. They were either underemployed or unemployed altogether. I started farming in CMOS from 2013. There was no market, so we used to, I used to put them in my house, package them in there for, for years. That's what we do, my family do for a living, depending on the CMOS. I have my own CMOS farm. I plant it myself, we harvest my, my, my husband and myself, we plant it, we take care of it, we, we do everything ourselves. It is just a lot of hard work, a lot, a lot of work. But it is a very hard work, planting and cleaning. And when you finish there, you're so tired. And when you, you have to harvest that CMOS, sometimes 30 bags, 35 bags, 29 bags, it depends. And to take all that stuff to put on the, on the table to, to, to bleach, to be in it all day long. Sometimes two, three days you have to turn it up and down to make it get bleached. So we have a filamentous green algae that grows over it and it covers the entire, it can cover the entire line. And once you have this on your line, it prevents the seamoss from getting the sunshine and um, it retards the growth of the seamoss. Oh, it's a green, something like a moss or something in the... That one is just a killer. Because when you have to go through that to clean that seamoss, it is hard. Using the bottles serve two purposes. We have to uh, keep the lines um, um, floating so that um, the, the plants will be exposed um, to, uh, to, to the sunlight. But the other side with, um, of it is that by using the bottles, we recycle something that would have been um, detrimental to the environment. When um, the farmers started here, they were producing CMOS um, for the local needs. There were not so many people in CMOS before. People started what most people left because there were no sale. And then came um, export St. Lucia and they did some geometry for us. They had um, the, the business taking a 180 degree turn from zero to maybe I could say infinity because at this moment the problem we have with the CMOS Farmers Association is not one where we have too much CMOS we cannot sell, is where we are getting too many people who want to buy and we don't have enough, thanks to Export St. Lucia. And it's just recently what we had packaged for all those years that we are selling now. Right now I notice a lot of young people coming in to eat, which is very, very nice, which we are very happy about it. Now it's kind of different. You come here for the day, you bring your lunch, you spend a whole day in the sea. Sometimes the sea is so rough. I am short and so I have to be fighting the waves. I enjoy going to the sea. Sometimes I walk with my net and I caught some fish. <laughs> so I doing everything one time. <laughs> I take pleasure in planting it and I like to harvest. You harvest the seamoss, um, you take it home, um, you bleach it and, uh, and then dry it. The process takes about a week and some time, depending on the, um, the weather, it may be a little more or a little less. When you harvest, you're going to get some money. Every day I visit the area where the farmers are planting the seamoss, I see new faces. Um, Export St. Lucia's initiative, particularly in CMOS, has been incredibly successful. Um, we've seen uh, a substantial increase in sales, I think, from almost 50000 to a half a million dollars in a seven-month period. Um, there's over 200 farmers currently involved in the development, and it has been island-wide. 
Um, so the initiative not only is making an impact in terms of foreign exchange earnings and helping with our brand position, but most importantly, helping reduce unemployment and generating more wealth in our rural communities. Well, the government of St. Lucia has been incredibly supportive with regards to Export St. Lucia. Um, in fact, Export St. Lucia is fully funded out of the government subvention and clearly plays a critical role in the development of micro-businesses, but even more importantly, in developing the brand position for St. Lucia. People would call before and people would ask at the beginning for CMOS. Now they ask for St. Lucia CMOS, the real CMOS. So they have created a new entity and there are persons who used to buy from other parts of the world and they'll, tell, they'll ask me, do you have the real CMOS? And I say yes. And they tell me, I mean St. Lucia CMOS. Credit need to go to um, the organization um, for what they actually did on the ground. Not only help us with the export process so that we could now do it ourselves. And I thank the organization for this. Thank you.